Assalamualaikum and good morning. Um, last lecture, we stop until internet address. <coughs> so, um, this is internet address. Um, and then this is the domain name system. Alright. Um, then, we will look into internet architecture and governance. Okay, internet architecture and governance. What we call as an uh, internet architecture. Internet architecture usually is a plan. Okay, plan for the network plan for the organization. And then when they apply the internet, so they must have the architecture of the internet. So they have to know uh, what, uh, which devices that we have, uh, we, we will put into the in, uh, into our network and what is the our backbone and then what is our um uh, regional host okay and then um uh, and then we have the regional hub and then we have we have the domain local all right so for example kat sini lah kata kat sini ini adalah office ni uh, ini adalah kita punya kampus, kita punya rumah. So, macam mana dia berhubung kait dengan internet kita. So, ini sekadar macam drawing mengatakan if anything happen. So, kita boleh tahu dekat mana kita nak betulkan. Itulah kegunaan internet architecture. Okay. Um, no one owns the internet. Okay. Tak ada siapa. Internet ni tak ada siapa macam ni. Aku punya ni, aku punya tak ada. Okay. However... Worldwide internet policies established by professional organizations and government bodies. So, in the, dalam internet ni, dia ada IAB, Internet Architecture Board. Okay, define the overall structure of the internet. And then they have the ICANN, Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. That's why kita tak boleh maju sebarangan, so borono je. Kita uh, letak nombor. Macam, um, I love number 8. So, I want to put as, uh, start with 8, okay, and then it's up to me lah, what, uh, what, which number that I want to use. No, you have to follow the rules and procedures, okay. And then we have the W3C, World Wide Web Consortium. You will set the HTML and other programming standard for the web. So, HTML ni apa? HTML ni adalah language. Kalau you tengok mana-mana website, contohnya you might to Google ke, Gmail ke. So, uh, untuk jadikan interface um, Google, interface uh, interface apa tu? Interface Gmail, dia kena melalui uh, web. Okay, uh, melalui language. Okay, contoh ya. Okay, contoh. Okay, this is Google. Mm, okay, this is Google. So, when you right click, you go to view page source. Okay, so this is the language. Okay, you nampak eh. Ha, banyak-banyak kan language dia. So, ini kita panggil, yang ni tak panggil HTML, yang ni panggil DHTML, dynamic. Okay, sebab kita dah boleh ada, you dah boleh klik, 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 klik ni kan. Ha, so, dia, dia macam tu. Alright. Okay, next. In future internet. Okay, so we have IPv6 and internet 2. So, IPv6 ni apa? This is IPv6. Okay, so we break down. Tadi kita pakai 32 bit kan? Ini kita break down kepada 1 to 8 bit IPv6 number. So, dia menggunakan 2 global unicast address indicator. Okay, 001 region. You know what eh? Customer dia pun akan jadi lagi besar. So, dia ada subnet. Dia ada subnetwork. Okay. And then, kat sini, IPv6 dikenali sebagai new addressing scheme for IP numbers. Okay. From 32 to the 1 to 8 numbers. Okay. And then, we'll provide more than quadrillion net new address. And not compatible with the current IPv5 addressing. But now, we change into something yang baru iaitu internet 2 internet 2 dia adalah advanced networking consortium 
Okay, develop high capacity of 100 gigabit per second testing network and testing leading edge new technologies for internet. Because because now we move into something, uh, something that is live, okay, lively, dynamic, that you can click, you can watch online, you can play online, you can listen online, everything. So, Internet 2 and IPBC will support. This is about the future of Internet. So, what are the Internet services and communication tools? First, we have email. Everybody knows what is email. And then, we have chatting and instant messaging. Okay, this is what I have to Kita boleh guna macam-macam. Okay, kita boleh pakai WeChat. Kita boleh pakai Skype. Kita boleh guna WhatsApp. Kita boleh pakai Telegram. Kita boleh chatting kan? Macam sekarang, uh, macam you guna Telegram, you guna untuk chat. You guna untuk WhatsApp, untuk chat. Tapi, you boleh call. Uh, you know tak? Dia ada banyak. Okay, dia ada banyak. Kita ada Snapchat. Ada banyak. Itu semua adalah chatting and instant messaging. And then, we have news group. News group ni, you can subscribe. Okay, and then you boleh unsubscribe kalau you tak, dah tak berminat. Okay. And then we have Telnet. Telnet usually is for remote computer. Especially bila you kerja dekat tempat kawasan yang macam pedalaman. Susah you nak, nak, nak macam you nak buat kerja, you nak hantar data semua, you nak get the data. Uh, get the data and post the data ataupun you want to reply, send and reply. So, we use the Telnet. Dia adalah... Dia ada lagi guna language dia, tapi English, in English, right? And then, kita ada World Wide Web, okay? Yang support semua services, okay? Contohnya, dia ada Facebook, uh, dia support uh, chatting, Twitter, uh, Google, Google Plus, everything, okay? And then, we have File Transfer Protocol. Okay, File Transfer Protocol usually for you to transfer something big, okay? Something big. Uh, so, dia akan, kita akan menggunakan server. Uh, macam nak guna file transfer protocol, ni macam bukan macam pakai Gmail semua tu. Sekarang kita ada drive kan, kita ada cloud computing. File transfer protocol usually, when you want to send, we have the one computer. So, computer tu yang akan uh, pergi dekat server, so dia akan uh, direct dengan server. So, kalau katalah at the same time, ramai yang tengah hantar, tu benda tu akan jadi slow. Okay, line tu akan jadi slow. Because you want to transfer something to the server. Alright, so this is the internet. Okay, uh, sorry, the network for the company. So, this is the client usually, your computer or your smartphone. So, kita menggunakan internet. Okay, dia pergi ke server. Dekat server, dia ada pecahan. Okay, dia ada application server, database server, baru dia pergi kepada database. Okay, so dekat server ni, Dia ada web server, SMTP server, JLS server, FTP, NNTP. So, dia banyak sangat. Kalau kita nak pergi web page, dia berhubung berkaitan dengan server apa. Kalau nak pergi mail, macam mana. For the uh, big organization, usually they have many server at one time. But for small organization, satu server dia bertindak untuk semua. Sebab dia tak banyak kerja. Okay. Organisasi besar, yes. Dia kena pakai yang lebih bagus. And then, uh, dekat database server ni, dia akan pergilah dekat kita punya database. Apa sistem-sistem yang ada dalam company kita. And then, we move to VoIP. Okay, Voice Over Internet Protocol. It is the digital voice communication. Kita using IP. Okay, kita mesti menggunakan internet protocol. Dan paket switching. Okay. Macam contohnya kat sini, kita pakai Skype for Business and S3 plus Google Voice. Dia akan jadi start VoIP. Okay, I don't know whether you pernah guna Skype ke tidak, tapi Skype kalau nak guna, dia kena, you must have the good internet services. Okay, kalau internet you macam agak slow, dia akan tersangkut-sangkut dan kadang-kadang kita tak faham komunikasi itu berlaku macam mana. And then, dalam VoIP juga, okay, dia ada unified, uh, selain tu kita ada unified communication. Okay, unified communication is something that integrate the voice, the data, the email, the conversation. Everything they put together. Okay, you tengok kat sini, ini unified communication. Dia ada application, dia ada presence, dia ada IM, voice, voicemail, email calendar, audio conferencing, web video conferencing, and desktop sharing. Um, usually, organization, they love to use this. Sebab, you nak satu benda yang boleh function all. Okay. 
Next, um, kawan you pernah tanya kat I hari tu pasal virtual private network. Okay, kenapa kena pakai virtual private network? Virtual private network actually is for to secure. Okay, dan something yang melibatkan benda tu private that uh, public cannot know about the data. Uh, okay, um, I explain to you about VPN. Okay, VPN ni something yang macam contohnya dalam satu department, katalah department treasurer, eh sorry, treasury, uh, benda hari, uh, dekat satu macam pembayaran. Pembayaran tu je virtual private network. Yang lain tu macam public. Everybody can access. Okay. So, bila dia private, so dia jadi macam mana? Okay, dia ada tunnel. Tunnel terowong. Uh, kita pasang terowong ke? Tak. Kita letak macam ideologi mengatakan all the data kena melalui terowong itu untuk di screen. Okay, untuk di screen supaya bila dia sampai dekat uh, kita punya receiver, benda tu akan encrypt. So, bila virtual private network, usually dia ada encrypted dengan decrypted. Dia akan dikunci dan dia buka kunci. Okay. So, macam mana kita tahu dia kunci dengan dia buka kunci? Siapa yang akan tahu? Maknanya contohnya, saya send something dekat Nazmi. So, uh, bila saya buat macam tu, apa yang berlaku adalah uh, saya akan menghantar key ni mengatakan, okay, this is the key that you just you je yang yang boleh buka. So, masa benda tu sampai, you akan menggunakan key yang sender ni hantar. So, benda tu akan jadi macam, so dia akan protect dekat situ. Kalau you tengok dekat sini, this is public. This is public. Ini yang VPN. Benda tu macam dia mm, sangat mm, sensitif uh, yang menyebabkan mm, nobody can know about that particular data. So, that's why kita pakai VPN. Satu, sebab kita nak protect daripada hacker. Okay, satu nak protect from privacy. Uh, uh, sorry, nak protect from privacy. Lagi satu, kita nak protect from the public. Sebab we doesn't know about the public. Okay, we never know about the public. Okay, so that's why kita pakai virtual private network. Tapi kita tak boleh cakap macam satu department tu dia pakai virtual private network 100%. Jarang berlaku benda macam tu. Okay, selalunya macam ada setengah-setengah saja yang dia pakai virtual private network, yang ni public. Sebab nak buat virtual private network ni bukan senang. Sebab dia nak, dia nak secure everything. Okay. Next, we move to the web. Hmm. Web ni nanti I sambung untuk next. Right? Sebab I nak, I nak sambungkan dengan yang ini. Okay? So, I stop here.